Since I started this channel in the beginning of 2019, I have gotten countless questions about this wall. Did I make it myself? How'd I do it? Well, today I'm gonna show you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If we're just meeting, I'm Katie, and this is Katie Failinger DIY. It is a channel that's dedicated to helping you make your home your happiest place, or in this case, you're set. And we do that through techniques, tutorials, and ideas like you'll see in today's video. So if that sounds good to you, consider subscribing, and you can also ring the bell to get notified the second a new video drops every Thursday. So I've used the wall behind me as the backdrop to my set since I started here on YouTube. And guys, seriously, from day one, people have commented on it and asked whether it's a DIY job. In short, the answer is yes. So today's video will be a little bit different in that there won't be a formal tutorial since the project's already obviously complete, but but there will be a link below with all the products that I used if you want to check those out. Okay, firstly, this isn't German schmear. I saw that pop up in the comments as you guys were talking back and forth, which by the way, I think is awesome. It's so cool that you're sharing ideas back and forth. But again, this isn't German schmear, although stay tuned to the end because I will talk about that technique if it's something that you think you might want to try. And I'll show you how I got this look on the exterior of our garage. It's a totally separate technique. Fun fact, I actually shoot the bulk of my on-camera video from inside my garage. So you're looking at the interior wall of my garage back there, but I'm just gonna get behind the camera. We're gonna take a look at this bad boy up close. I'm just gonna get right up in there so you can see what's going on with this wall. What you are looking at is a brick wall with a cement overlay. So it was supposed to be stuccoed. And unfortunately it was a pretty poorly done job. It was like that when we purchased the house, but basically the cement just failed. Now I'm not sure why the previous owners wanted to cover up the brick. We don't know whether they sealed it or if it was just applied incorrectly, but we think that moisture got into the wall and that's what led it to eventually crack and crumble off. So by the time we were purchasing the property, there was already a pretty nasty mess on the floor. And yet in the process, it had begun to expose the brick slightly, which was kind of cool. So we were initially going to just tear it all off. And to get going, all it really took was a crowbar to pry off the cement that was already loose. But then we realized how cool it looked to just have part of the exposed brick showing through like that. So instead of ripping it all the way off, we just left about half of it exposed. But the job wasn't done yet. We still needed to seal this somehow to prevent any further chipping, but most importantly, to create a moisture barrier. And we ended up using a concrete sealer. Now, the brand we used was Direct Colors, and honestly, guys, the only reason for that choice was it was left over from a separate project when we stained our basement floor. There was no magic solution, rather just making use of what we already had, and it worked pretty well. So my husband did the grunt work on this, and he applied a thin coat of sealer using a basic paint roller. Three separate coats with 24 hours of dry time in between coats, and then another 24 hours on top of that to let it set completely. Yeah, so in the end, this brick wall backdrop was a happy accident that we were able to turn in our favor. And I feel like that's the ideal way to look at anything DIY. You're faced with a problem, you come up with a solution. And you know, there's so many different techniques obviously in the DIY realm, and I fully intend to help you navigate those throughout this journey here on YouTube, but sometimes the finished product is coolest when you've thought outside the box. And let me know too in the comments if you've ever been in a similar situation where you just went into resourceful mode and you had to DIY your way out of a project problem. I would love to know how you solved it. Now, since we're on the topic, there was another brick update that we did. The other side of this wall is lime washed. So let's go outside and I'll show it to you. This is the finished effect of lime washing. It comes in different colors and we used the Romabio brand in Noob Gray. Lime wash is sometimes used interchangeably with whitewash, but it's basically just powdered limestone that's been treated to turn it into a coating that's super durable when applied to a porous material like brick. And it's a super easy DIY. You just wet the surface to be lime washed, apply it with a thick brush like a masonry brush or a sprayer, and then after enough setting time, you just take a hose to it and wash it off to expose as much or as little brick as you want. So this was the before picture of our garage. Pretty sad looking. I mean, we had graffiti and everything, but 
one afternoon of lime washing really helped level up the class factor, I think. So there are a couple of commonalities here. These were both get your hands dirty kind of projects, but they were also perfect examples of how we updated and made new what was old. Now I have another video that shares those qualities. You need to check out the makeover that I gave to my old outdated Ikea shelving unit. The transformation on that thing is awesome. So I'm gonna link that up here as well as in the description if you wanna check it out. So as I mentioned earlier, I noticed in the comment threads in one of my videos that somebody mentioned the German schmear technique. Now, if you've never heard of German schmear before, it's a really pretty look that gets its name from the castles and the little cottages in Northern Germany. It creates this effect of irregular stones. It's similar to whitewashing, but it's actually a layer of mortar. So the mortar adds the rough texture and it looks just a lot more distressed. It is a gorgeous look, but it's not something that I have tried just yet. So question for you, and let me know in the comments, which of these techniques or ideas is most intriguing to you? And are you going to try any of them? Also, are you going to be updating an outdoor wall or maybe a fireplace? I would love to know the details. So now you know a few ways to give an updated look to a brick wall. And I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes of how I got my set to look like this. Also, again, if you're interested in the products I use, the links to those are below. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, share this with your fellow DIY junkies and subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. I post every Thursday, but you can also ring the bell to get notified the second new ones go up. And guys, over a thousand people are now part of my creator community. If you want to get in on the action where I share content exclusive to that group, there's a link below to sign up. Otherwise, feel free to hit me up on social. I'm on all the platforms. They're all listed below. And I always love hearing from you. Guys, keep creating your happy place. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next Thursday. an air traffic controller. This blooper reel is gonna be off the hook. Which of these te te if you wanna get in on the action, eh, in the description. So there were cute, you should choose, you should choose. I think the heat is getting to me. Pucker up, buttercup. Perfect examples of how we, oh, it's so hot in here is lime washed, lime washed. So there were a few comment, few. Why do I say stuff so high pitched? Interchangeably with whitewash, whitewash. <laughs> I have not mastered my Vanna technique yet. Hey, Macarena, hi. I'm not using that in the bloopers your way out of oh jeez there will be a link in the description description if you winky all right since no it's so hot in here moisture barrier <laughs> but most importantly pr produce i'm never gonna finish this video